I purchased a 15 pair of shoe mystery box from ThreadUp and this is what I got. I found these Reef size 8 sandal. I didn't know the brand, but I looked it up. It looks like it's sold on Amazon, so it's not for high amount, but honestly, it's my size and they're awesome, so I'll probably keep them. These American Eagle shoes, more than likely, I'll just be selling them in a garage sale. It's not really something that resells great. The same with these Keds. I don't really have a whole lot of luck with the Keds. Before I go on, I should mention these are all for pre-sale. If you're interested, just comment below. I hadn't heard of this brand before. I'm assuming it's Tree Ton. Um, I do think these are men's. They say 10M, but they look huge near my foot. So I'm assuming they're a man's just before that reason because I wear an eight. Um, the next ones are a Nike. I thought they were super freaking ugly, but it looks like they are a vintage Nike. I'm just not sure if these are men's or women's. These Sorrel boots were a great find. They're in olive green suede. They're in really good condition. One of the shoestrings is fraying, but other than that, they're in great condition. Um, they are a size 6.5 which stinks because I wanted to add them to my collection, but I am definitely not a six and a half. This Reformation one surprised me. I really didn't think that they would be going for that much online. They did not have a sizing. I'm assuming them to be a size six just because they're super small, but I can measure for you. Some Stuart Weitzman, I think that's how you pronounce it. Just some plain Jane nude heels. They are in good use condition with a little bit of cleaning. They'll be looking more like new. These are a size seven and a half. And there is the other one. Again, they're in really good condition. The toe has just a little bit of dirt, but that's going to be an easy cleanup with a suede brush and some suede cleaning tools. When I saw these, I could not believe it. I have not even been able to find them out thrifting. They're Hoka's, I think is how you pronounce it. This is a size nine and a half. I do believe these to be women's, but they're an insanely great condition. Now this one, Scoop, I've never heard of the brand. It's probably going to be getting put in my garage sale after Googling it. It really wasn't worth that much to list online. These are a pair of Vince Camuto um, kind of sandal heel and they are a size 7M. This next shoe is San Marian, Mariana, I think. Um, it's just a tan pump, nude, or a nude pump, yeah. Uh, they were in really good condition, but after examining them a little bit further, there is a small crack on each side, um, kind of where the toe meets the foot, <laughs> I guess you would say. So I'm not sure what I'll do with those ones. They are a size 37. I was definitely hoping for a better brand, but these are just Cynthia Raleigh uh, suede moccasin slip-on shoes. They are a size 7, and they're in really good condition. Condition. Um, so yeah, I think they'll do great. This is Camper. I've never heard of the brand, but I was really surprised when I looked up some comps. I didn't get the exact pair, but they still look like they're going to be a good flip. These Zara boots are a size 38 and they're leather. They're in really good condition. So that wraps up my box. Uh, it's 15 pairs. I think Two or three, I'm just going to have to sell in a garage sale. But other than that, all of those are going to be able to resell for $20 plus. So I really think I got a great box. You just never know. Be sure to follow along.